Nando's Group Limited stands as the parent company overseeing the global phenomenon of Nando's Chickenland, a celebrated chain of chicken-themed fast food restaurants. Originating in South Africa, the company, headquartered in the United Kingdom, has expanded its reach to over 1,000 restaurants across 35 countries. Key markets include South Africa, the United Kingdom and Australia, each boasting over 250 restaurants. The diverse global footprint extends to Canada, the United States, India, Malaysia, Singapore, the United Arab Emirates and other nations. Central to Nandos' appeal is its peri-peri grilled chicken recipe dominating the menu at its restaurants. The company adapts its format to various markets with UK outlets operating as sit-down restaurants and others, like South Africa, primarily embracing a takeout model. Privately held, Nando's is under the control of Yellowwoods, formerly Capricorn Ventures International, owned by the Enthoven family in South Africa. Nando's Group Holdings, overseeing the global operations, reported impressive revenues of £1.27 billion for the fiscal year ending February 26, 2023, with Rob Papps at the helm as the group chief executive. This culinary powerhouse continues to redefine the fast food landscape, delivering the unique and flavorful experience of peri-peri grilled chicken to patrons worldwide. In the annals of South African culinary history, Nando's Group emerged in 1987, born from the collaboration of Robert Brosen and Fernando Duarte. Their journey commenced at Teltron, Brosen's father's electronics firm and Sanyo distributor, where Brosen transitioned from a certified accountant to a sales maestro. Duarte, an audio engineer, and Brosen formed a close bond. A pivotal moment occurred when Duarte introduced Brosen to Chickenland in Johannesburg's Rosettenville neighborhood, known for its peri-peri marinated and grilled chicken. Enthralled by the flavors, Brosen proposed transforming the eatery into a global fast food brand. With ambitious plans for the peri-peri recipe, Brosen secured 80,000 rand, venturing into the restaurant industry with no prior experience. They strategically targeted Portuguese neighborhoods in South Africa for expansion, simultaneously crafting the brand Nando's Chickenland, a homage to Duarte and son Fernando. The menu centered on the peri-peri grilled chicken recipe, emphasizing fresh, natural ingredients and a commitment to using only fresh chicken. The duo aimed to infuse a Portuguese-inspired dining experience, marked by warm colors and lively music for a homely ambiance. Brosen assumed the role of manager at the second restaurant in Johannesburg's Savoy neighborhood. From then on, Nando's embarked on its flavorful journey, blending peri-peri excellence with a commitment to freshness and a uniquely Portuguese ambiance. In the pivotal year of 1992, Nando's Group, having already established itself with four restaurants in Johannesburg and Portugal, embarked on a journey of national and international expansion. Founders Brosen and Duarte joined forces with Richard Enthoven, founder of South Africa's Harlard Insurance Group, to create a joint venture partnership. Initially operating independently, the joint venture faced challenges and underwent a restructuring in 1995, bringing it under Nando's control. The Enthoven family emerged as major shareholders, enabling the company to grow to 45 locations in South Africa and expanding into neighboring markets such as Swaziland, Botswana, Namibia and Zimbabwe. 
Simultaneously, the Enthoven family secured the exclusive license to develop the Nando's Chickenland brand in the United Kingdom and the rest of Europe. Despite a rocky start in the UK due to consumer reluctance, Richard Enthoven's son, Robert Enthoven, took charge and innovatively transformed the struggling chain. Identifying issues with the takeaway format, he introduced a fast casual dining experience reshaping customer interactions. Departing from standardized formats, each new Nando's in the UK embraced individuality, preserving existing architecture. The emphasis on a lively, family-friendly and youth-orientated ambiance remained, paired with the renowned peri-peri chicken-focused menu. This strategic evolution marked a turning point, propelling Nando's into a successful trajectory in the UK and beyond. In the dynamic landscape of the 1990s, Nando's international success took center stage, marked by a transformative shift in its UK operations. The introduction of a new dining style resonated with UK diners, catapulting the Nando's UK network to 29 stores by the early 2000s. Simultaneously, Nando South Africa operations orchestrated a remarkable expansion boasting 117 locations in southern Africa by 1997. The company's success was fueled by highly popular and irreverent advertising campaigns, leveraging a deep understanding of local cultures to create provocative and occasionally controversial advertisements. This innovative approach enabled maximum impact with the relatively low advertising budget. As Nando's fortified its roots in South Africa, it embraced a broader global expansion. Australia became a key focus in 1991 with the establishment of a subsidiary and the opening of the first restaurant in Perth's Tuart Hill. Australia swiftly emerged as one of Nando's strong international markets, boasting 100 stores, including the first in New Zealand within a decade. The early 90s saw Nando's venture into Israel in 1993, opening its first shop in Herzliya and expanding to four locations by 1997. Canada too embraced the Peri Peri magic in 1994 with the first restaurant in Richmond, British Columbia. Rapid growth ensued with 29 restaurants spanning three Canadian provinces. The restructuring of Nando slash Hollard's joint venture in 1995 laid the groundwork for future expansion. Nando's International, established that year, became the subsidiary overseeing the group's global growth. Nando South Africa evolved into Nando's Group Holdings, while Nando's Chickenland in the UK continued as the master franchise holder. The Enthoven family, through Capricorn International Ventures, emerged as joint shareholders with Brozen, shaping the foundation of Nandos' continued global success. In a significant move in 1997, Nandos undertook a comprehensive restructuring, preparing for its debut on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. This involved the creation of Nandos International Holdings, NIH, holding 100% of Nando's International and Nando's International Investments, serving as the financial arm for global expansion. Nando's Group Holdings went public, with Brozen and the Enthoven family maintaining control through NIH's 54% stake. Simultaneously, Brozen, via the family-owned MBI investment, gained direct control over a significant portion of the group's international operations. Post-listing, Nando's resumed its expansion, fielding interests from parties eager to introduce the brand in Asian markets in the early 90s. Choosing Singapore and Malaysia, the company adopted distinct strategies. 
In Singapore, a master franchise agreement was signed with the local entrepreneur, leading to the first locations opening in 1997. Malaysia witnessed a more direct approach, with Nando's forming a partnership, holding a 30% share in the venture, the maximum allowed for foreign companies. The inaugural Malaysian restaurant in Jalan Telawi Bansar opened in June 1998, later expanding to the Genting Highlands by 2001. By 2013, the Malaysian network burgeoned to 50 locations with plans for further expansion to reach potential 150 throughout the country. This period marked a strategic milestone in Nandos' global journey, showcasing adaptability and foresight in diverse markets. Following its public offering, Nandos made strategic investments, expanding into Kenya, Zambia, Mozambique, and acquiring a 33.3% stake in Zimbabwe's Inscore Africa in 1999. However, the company's public tenure was short-lived due to undervalued shares and controversy surrounding the merger of profitable South African operations with Brosen's money-losing international businesses through MBI investments. Despite criticism, Nando's proceeded with the merger, leading to the decision to buy out minority shareholders and delist from the Johannesburg Stock Exchange in 2003. The delisting didn't impede Nandos' international expansion ambitions. Venturing into the United States in 2003, the company initially entered the retail sector, marketing its bottled Nandos-branded peri-peri sauce. Transitioning into the restaurant sector in 2008, the first U.S. Nando's opened in Washington, D.C. The company steadily expanded its presence with over 13 locations in Virginia and Maryland by the early 2010s. Throughout the decade, Nando's continued to explore new markets. Its Australian subsidiary facilitated entry into New Zealand in 2000, followed by two restaurants in Fiji. Developing franchise partnerships globally, Nando's established a presence in Pakistan and Qatar in 2001, the United Arab Emirates in 2002, and Bangladesh in 2007. This period exemplified Nando's' resilience and adaptability, forging ahead with global expansion initiatives despite delisting and navigating diverse markets successfully. In the dynamic landscape of the 2010s, Nando's continued its global exploration. In 2010, the company made its foray into India, aiming to leverage the country's rapidly growing economy. Within the first year, Nando's Indian operations flourished with three restaurants, expanding further to Ludhiana, Bangalore, Delhi, Chennai, and Punjab by 2014. Simultaneously, in the United Kingdom, where the network had surpassed 250 restaurants, Nando's earned recognition as the best place to work in the big company category in 2010 by winning the Sunday Times Award. The company ventured into Scotland for the first time in 2013, opening four restaurants. Construction commenced on the inaugural airport restaurant at London Gatwick South Terminal, which successfully debuted in 2014. Capitalizing on its brand popularity and customer loyalty, Nando seized the opportunity to introduce a range of bottled condiments, sauces, and other Nando's branded foods into the UK supermarket sector. With the global network exceeding 1,000 restaurants across 35 countries, Nando solidified its position as a prominent player in the early 21st century fast food scene, embodying adaptability, innovation, and a commitment to expanding its horizons. Entering the period of 2016 to the present, Nando's embarked on a transformative journey to rejuvenate its brand image. In 2016, after a decade of maintaining its existing identity, Nando's unveiled a new visual representation rooted in its South African heritage. 
This included a distinct Pantone color, Perry Red, a unique Nando's hand typeface, bespoke artwork adorning restaurants, and a subtle 87 degree angle tilt in its headlines. Even the iconic cockerel on the Nando's logo, named Barcelos, underwent a makeover with smoother lines and a larger heart, creating a more refined appearance. Speculation arose in 2017 about Nando's' potential relisting, but the company swiftly dismissed these rumors through a representative. However, like many in the fast food industry, Nando's faced significant challenges due to the adverse impact of COVID-19 and subsequent lockdowns. Chief Executive Rob Papps acknowledged the chicken chain's most challenging period during 2010 and 2021. Pre-tax losses escalated to £241 million in the financial year ending February 2021, compared to £99.4 million in the prior year. Revenue plummeted by 39% to £665 million, prompting the company to nearly halve its capital investment from £97.4 million to £54.2 million as a cost-saving measure. The financial year 2023 marked a noteworthy recovery for Nando's as it's rebounded to pre-pandemic sales and achieved a return to operating profit. Nando's Group Holdings reported an operating profit of £70 million for the year ended February 26, 2023. Looking ahead, Nando's maintains ambitious plans intending to persist in investing in new restaurants across all its markets. Thank you for tuning into the video and if you found it enjoyable, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us on the Nando's journey here on Finnet.